more trim. More fuel pumps. Got more of those I know what to do with now. <laughs> Some type of ignition controller. Hopefully someone wasn't thinking about putting this TBI on here. That'd be a sad day in hell now. Bungee cord, that's fine. So maybe this is the old pump for the heater. It's a little squirrel cage inside there. This car still has a heater in it. I'm very happy about that. It's original coil. I think that's original coil. Don't be afraid to school me if I'm wrong. I'm fine with that. Here's what I'm more interested in. Some more bodies for carburetors. I can rebuild them. Use the body to replace everything on the inside. It might be usable in some parts. We'll see. You can never have enough uh, flathead carburetors, that's for sure. Steering components that I don't need. Looks like body mounts and different type of brackets. Bent up trim. What's the point of saving it if it's just bent up? More exhaust that I'm not going to use. This is too. Some type of bracket. Gotta save the brackets, you never know where they're gonna go. Cool little Hot Wheels, it's kind of cool. Okay, here we go, here's some good trim. Deluxe trim, so always gotta, gotta keep good trim, that's for sure. Not so much on the bent up stuff. I pulled this bucket out without saying anything, but this bucket just has more window cranks in it. Now this is something I recognize, that's a 3940 window crank. You can tell by the nice little ivory, whatever they put on the end of these, it looked pretty. Both of them look nice. Nice and smooth, not pitted. Good stuff. Another bracket I don't recognize. Looks like it was chrome plated at once. Interesting. Nice old generator. Usually these are rebuildable. This one spins over real nicely, so it probably is rebuildable. What I'm more happy about is that bracket still attached to it on the bottom side. So I'll do up close video of everything when I'm done. Another 94. Ooh, gotta like some 94s. And then the fuel pump setup. 
bowl looks good and clean. So, it's an interesting setup. Pretty cool. I don't need everything. So give me a contact if there's something here you see that you want. I don't need the car specific stuff. I don't need the trim. I don't need any of that. I need the engine and transmission. So if there's something interesting, let me know. Some other unique type housing. So that here in a minute. Decent bumper trim. That's pretty cool. Uh oh, look away. Old Playboy magazine. Uh oh. <laughs> Don't look. Some type of trim usable. Yeah, it's not rusted through, it's got pitting, so that's up to you. Ignition switch, pretty rusty. More good trim. Deluxe trim. Good shape. What well, looks like a radiator cap or a gas cap for this car. Well, that's it for what's inside the car. A lot of junk, but then a couple cool things. And it's always fun digging through and seeing what you can find inside of them. So I'll get them spread out and we look over them real quick up close. All right, so let's go through what I found in the car. A couple nice carburetors. I wouldn't say nice, I mean, they're stuck. They need work, but uh, check out that logo. That's a Ford carburetor. I'll soak it and see what I can do with it. This one, Schaumburg. I'll soak it and see what I can do with it. Maybe it'll unstick itself. Maybe it'll have cracks. I don't know. We'll find out. Looks like a blower for the heater that's still in the car. Uh, oh, yeah, probably. This year car, that's probably a distributor. Oh yeah, that's a distributor for this year car, so. Nice. These old cars, the parts look funny compared to today. So, fuel pump, various types of fuel pumps. Each one of these are a little bit different. Still have the shaft in it, so some good parts there. More fuel pumps and housings with different types of plungers in them. Good glass. There's two different plungers right there. <clears throat> this one's unique looking. And just an aluminum housing. Could be cleaned up for sure. I don't know if someone would want that. Generator that's not stuck doesn't look like it's too bad other than this is old and it has the bracket on it Maybe it'll work. I'll give it a try Various chrome bumper 
worn probably. Here's a better look at all these window cranks. So looks like original to the car. Kind of kind of has like that ivory type handle to it. That one's broke. That one is not broke. All these are actually look good. They're just dirty. So these will polish up pretty nice. They're all exactly the same. All in pretty good shape. I'm happy about this air cleaner. I took this apart and it's actually clean. Almost looks like it's brand new and just never been used. So from the from the cleanness on the inside. So we'll see. I'll probably use that. And we have this chrome. I don't know. Kind of looks like an exhaust tip, but that's not exhaust because it's a weird shape. So water pump. Interesting. It's not usable. A couple brackets, support brackets for something. <clears throat> Got two of these. They're not rusted through. Um, they look nasty though. So I don't know if they're usable or not. Now we have the full jack kit still in the car. Here's the jack. Here's the tools, the bar, everything for the jack is here. From what I can tell anyways, so pretty cool. Uh, a lot of times I've seen people soak these, restore just the jacks, so that's definitely restorable because it's, it's crusty, but it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Cool looking. Um, two fuel necks. If someone wants them, they can have them. No use for it. Some type of steering linkage. Long and short. Threads don't look too bad on them. Could be cleaned up and reused if someone wants them. Everything's for sale, so just let me know. Here's really cool is what I was really happy about. There's two tires. One still has a liner inside of it and still partially has a sticker on it. They are dry rotted. But it's cool to see all weather safety. Well, good years. That one's a good year. They're probably the same. Good year. Two original tires, never used, still have the knobbies on them. I would say original. Two of the tires, still have knobbies on them. I don't know how old they are. It's pretty cool. Let's see if I can find anything. Nope, I don't see anything about years like the newer tires have to have on them now, so at least uh, pre-80s, at least pre-80s. And here's all the junk I didn't pull up to show you, it's just, just scrap, scrap pieces I don't care about. 